In this lesson, we'll cover what's new in Revit MEP 2016. Well, several new things have been added to Revit MEP 2016, and several things have been carried over from release 2015 R2. Some of the 2016 new functionalities and features include piping flow units. Basically, here you can specify values for flow in liters per minute. You also have performance and volume only settings for calculations. Basically, it's to improve performance when you work with large fire protection, vent, and other, other systems, basically. It's a new setting, volume only, and it's been added to calculation dropdown. So basically, when you're looking at calculation parameters, you can have it set to none or volume only, and the volume parameters calculated. And again, this is for when you're working with large system models. You'll see an improvement in snapping in the behavior of snapping in related snaps. Another one is MEP fabrication detailing. This allows you to use LOD 400 content from the Autodesk fabrication products, such as CAD MEP, EST MEP, and CAM Duct. Some of the functionalities that were carried over from Revit 2015 R2 include, and not all of these, but some of them include, a sequence for power circuits. So basically you can create a sequence for the power circuits when they're created in the electrical settings dialog. You also have the most recently used panel circuiting. Here, you can automatically connect the most recently used panel for current sessions. Move circuits was another element. Here you can move a circuit to the target slot without disrupting any other circuits. And the ASH RAE table information. Here, the table that is applicable for the current condition, in this case, the ASH RAE table, those settings in the dialog box display the graphical representation associated with the duct fitting tables. 